There's only two things that make this figure not be as great as it could be. If you're looking for this or any other figure, check the link in my description. I have a link to Entertainment Earth. You get 10% off any in-stock order. And any order over $79 ships for free. So if you have five figures in that order, each of those figures ships free no matter when it ships. Also, if you're looking to get into customizing, I do have an ebook available. It is 18 pages of just pure information on customizing. It'll go over the tips, the tricks, the tools. Anything you need to get started is in that book. Link is in the description. One being an angry head sculpt. That would have been nice to see a yelling head. Would have been nice. Also, they need to implement a crunch here. I'm not sure why they're not doing it. But female figures need that. They need that this plus the crunch. Let's take a look at the details on this figure, though, because it's phenomenal. I'm not going to lie to you. Starting with the face sculpt, it looks really good. That face printing tech they're using is working out great. I love the green, like, dry brush on the hair. I think it looks great. This figure just looks so good. Like, it's not even funny. Like, it's not even... It's not even in the realm of things I thought Hasbro would be doing at this point. But I'm glad that they are. I got a little... little schmutz right there. But the paintwork is pretty basic. It's, uh, it's what it needs to be to be a She-Hulk figure. I believe she just had a purple jumpsuit and then the white bands. Boots, too. Again, I wish they put that swivel down lower just to not break up the sculpt because that looks weird. I feel like it looks more natural if it's swiveled down here. But this looks great. Details look great. Everything about this figure is really good. For accessories, she only comes with these two open hands. I'm not, it's not really sure what more she could have came with. But they did throw in this piece right here. It's like a broken gun. This is really nice. This is something I like to see from Hasbro. Just to throw in stuff that could accompany the character that's fitting for the character. And this is nice. It makes it looks like, it makes it look like, oh yeah, these also come off with the arms, with the hands. So you pop the hands off, you can take these off. So like if you wanted to paint it, like I saw somebody paint this green, like them, they matched it just so she would have not armbands. You can do that. I think this accessory is fun because you can do things like this. Literally easiest thing you can do with a figure, if I can. I say that as I'm turning it upside down. But like if you're into toy photography, that is a great touch. It looks like she just snapped some army guy's gun in half. I haven't done any mods to it. I did see someone do like a torso mod where you get a little more crunch. But it's not that big of a difference, so I'm not going to do it. Let's go over articulation, though, because even with this big old hair, it's not hindered. Let me zoom in a little bit. It's not hindered. She can still look left and right, which is nice. Earlier, female Marvel Legends wouldn't even look left to right, so that's a good improvement. You get that far down. You won't get any up. She's already tall as shit, so I don't really know who she would be looking up to. But you get that far down, no up. Starting with the, the shoulders, they cannot do a 360 because of the hair. But I'm sure if you turn the head, you can get the 360 going. But just looking straight about that far up you do get a bicep swivel double jointed elbows is always a good touch on a female marvel legend for the torso you get the swivel you get a little bit of crunch forward a little bit back the hair is going to run into it so you won't get maximum range we don't go about that far the hips go up that far back not at all double jointed knee goes that far and you do get an ankle swivel well boot swivel Ankles go down that far, up that far, and you do get a pivot. I think everything this figure came with is what it needs. It is missing a couple things, like I stated before. I still think it's a great release, though. Let's do some size comparisons. Here it is next to Cyclops. She's huge, like I said. She hulks a huge character. She is next to a Wave Mate, Model 20 right there, Model 24, whichever one you want it to be is what it is. Next to Cable. She's even taller than Cable, so that's cool. Next to SHF Carnage. Carnage is still bigger. Carnage is a big-ass figure. And here she is next to Deadpool. He doesn't want to stand up. Here she is next to Mega Man. Mega Man's a little guy. She is next to a G.I. Joe. A Mezco. So, yeah. she Hulk is a pretty good figure. It's not bad at all. I'm not mad at it. I'm actually happy to have it in the collection. I did not like the Super Scroll Wave She-Hulk, so this is a welcome addition. 
I can't wait to see what other outfits they do because I know they're going to do more. People are repainting this and doing all like the classic look. I know she has a blue jumpsuit, like the Fantastic Four look. I'm pretty sure Hasbro is going to release it, so I'm not going to do any of that. I'll just wait for that. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.